here we are. Well, here I am with my orchid that makes we and you. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are going to get right into the pot of my Rincolelia Cattleya Sunya Green named cultivar mailman because yes, the circumstances demand it. So why not have a look at seeing what the sequence of events has for us in the pot when it comes to an orchid that has been through some very, very stressful times as is clear to see. The first part of this black rot video, let's say it's not a series because it's just a two-parter, is linked in the description if you would like to hear about all the theory behind black rot and also see all the history of this orchid leading up to this point. Today we're just going to unpot her, have a look-see, is there anything else to salvage? If not, at least we've had a teachable moment and I hope the demise of my orchid is helpful to you so that you never ever need to face this situation. Should you face this situation ever in your growing career, let's just say, then I hope it is a one-off based on these two videos. So let's take this orchid out of her pot and see what we're up against. We'll probably just find a lot, a lot of dead roots, but you never know. Oh yeah, the pot is giving way far too easily. The orchid is coming out far too easily. Methinks I have more lecker to clean, that is obvious. And methinks I don't have anything to pot up in order to salvage this orchid. So, let me just run one thing by you if you were to encounter this situation, okay? And if you were to have the ideal conditions to be able to try and revive an orchid that has had black rot, then there is still a chance to do something about it because the base of the growth itself has not deteriorated, which means it would still grow new roots. And with that, of course, then, you still have two other structures for energy. Keep in mind, it's going to take a long, long time to recover an orchid that is this bad, if it were your situation, but it can be done. This root here is still viable, so there would be hope there. This one, of course, branching is still viable. And here, despite the fact that we have a very brown root, this root is still viable, it's firm. However, in my situation, with my circumstances, I am not able to revive this orchid. And I have another Sunya Green, not a named cultivar, but I have another one and she's doing just fine. So I'm going to hedge my bets that my second Sunya Green is, in actual fact, going to be the one that's going to stick around in the collection and give us some gorgeous, gorgeous blooms, hopefully again in the near future. What I want to do now, just because we have the opportunity, you see another viable root back here. So again, good conditions, you can revive something like this. However, what I want to do with my orchid is actually cut into her because it is a very rare occasion when we can be a little bit, you know, generous with our snips, so to speak. <laughs> As you can see, I have no viable eyes. These back pseudobulbs are gone. Even this one here is also totally history. There could be an eye right here, which of course is something that you would be able to take into consideration if you were in these circumstances with good conditions, meaning the temperature has to match, meaning she has to have enough light, no direct sun, and she needs a lot of humidity around her leaf. <laughs> single leaf in order for not to dehydrate further. But if you have a little viable eye like this, then it is absolutely feasible to revive this orchid, knowing that it'll take about five years before you actually see blooms again. So I've taken out all the lecker at the base. Ah, uh, maybe there's a piece or two here. Ooh, slimy, ick and yuck. Typical black rot. If 
but no smell. There is no odor. Anyway, I've taken all the lecker out of the base because I do not want to land my secateurs in lecker and then really, really provoke a carpal tunnel issue. And let's go where there would still be green tissue. This back end, obviously not representative of healthy tissue. This front end, comme ci, comme ça, somewhat healthy tissue. It's a shame that I don't have the conditions to actually try to revive this orchid. I am very, very tempted. So I'm going to end the video because this was just a show and tell, see what's in the pot. I'm going to think about whether I want to attempt to revive this orchid. So I'm going to encourage you at the same time to subscribe to the channel because I haven't made up my mind yet. Didn't want to drag this video out so long seeing as the first video is really the one that gives you all the tips that you need to be on the lookout for no matter your environment when it comes to possible risk of black rot. So subscribe to the channel, see what I do. And if you've been with me long enough, you probably already know the answer. We will be seeing this orchid in ICU and if she then declines even further. Anyway, I'm not gonna say anything. I don't wanna make any promises. <laughs> I hope that you at least enjoyed to see what happens to an orchid inside the pot when the conditions aren't ideal, once it's contracted black rot and all that horrible stuff. Give this video a like. I would appreciate that support. Thank you so, so much. Check out the description for the link on all the details about black rot and thank you so 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 much for watching i wish you a fabulous day on the condition though that you please stay safe take care bye just can't help myself <laughs>